So Eric, what is RankBrain and what does it do? Yeah, RankBrain is an algorithm that Google announced back in October of 2015. They actually announced that uh, through an article on the Bloomberg site. And it uses machine learning to better understand language. Uh, and as I understand it, uh, what it does is it is able to recognize more natural language ways of expressing things than the way we traditionally do search queries. And based on that, uh, it, since it understands the query better, it's more likely to present the right search result to the user. What's interesting about this, that's true even if the user kind of malforms the query mm. and says something that doesn't completely make sense. Okay, so uh, you, you mentioned machine learning is involved here. What is that and, and how does that help uh, rank brain? Uh, great question. First of all, the first thing I want to tell you is that machine learning and artificial intelligence are very different things. Okay. We're a long way from artificial intelligence. Where we are right now is machine learning is basically a process by which a computer program can learn how to call it build uh, an algorithm that can fit a set of data. So let me just explain that a mm -hmm. little bit. So imagine you had a data set which showed the size of a house and the price of the house when it sold, right? So historical sales data. Mm -hmm. Uh, it'd be fairly simple to draw kind of a straight line and kind of figure out the impact of the size of the house uh, on, the, on the sales price, or it might be simple. But then when you dig into it a little bit further, right, because we need to, because that first thing I, I gave you a human could do, but there's other things that affect the sale, sale of the house, the size of the lot, the number of bedrooms, the number of bathrooms, what town or city it's in, and then it starts to get very complicated. It's hard for humans to do that. Machine learning algorithms are able to take a problem like that and relatively easily uh, uh, build an algorithm that fits all the data points and makes, uh, makes sense. Okay, cool. Now, you recently did a study of uh, uh, looking at RankBrain and you wanted to find out, you know, has it affected the search results? It's been there, you know, as you said, since uh, mid-2015. Um, tell us how you did that and what you found out. Well, at Stone Temple Consulting, we maintain a, a database of uh, results for 1.4 million uh, queries within Google. Uh, and we uh, have a snapshot from just before when RankBrain started rolling out, which is actually in July of 2015, according to Google. Mm -hmm. So we looked at the results from July, and then we looked at that to find queries that it was clear that Google didn't understand mm -hmm. in July. Okay. You could see it because the search results matched up very badly uh, with the, uh, uh, the actual user query. And I'll give you an example of one in sure. a moment. Mm -hmm. We then looked at those queries uh, to find uh, ones that Google clearly didn't understand. Mm -hmm. And as part of that, we dug a little deeper to make sure, okay, Google didn't understand it, but maybe it's because there's nothing to understand because sometimes users enter in very strange things. Mm -hmm. So we also looked to make sure there actually was a good search result for the query that Google could find. Mm -hmm. All right, and once we found a set where they didn't understand the query and there were good search results available, uh, we put those into our study. So I'm gonna just give you an example. Okay. One query is, why are PDFs so weak? And in July of 2015, the number one result from query, uh, from Google, uh, was a page that it was a PDF file explaining why the Iraqi resistance to the coalition invasion was so weak. <laughs> Clearly has nothing to do with the yeah. user query. So this is an example of one that Google didn't understand. If you do that search today, the number one result is actually something that talks about the weakness of encryption and security in PDF files, directly mm -hmm. related to what the user actually meant. So to get some insight to what's going on in RankBrain, um, is th this notion of the word weak was not properly interpreted mm. uh, and I think also has something to do with the part of the phrase why is mm. and Google wasn't fully understanding that. Now it makes those connections and sees the whole of the user query and interprets the whole rather than what Google would have traditionally done with, uh, with that query. And, and just for fun I'm going to give you another example which was the one that uh, Gary Eish uh, shared on the virtual keynote that we did together with him. And that one is, 
can you get a 100% score on Super Mario without walkthrough? Yes, I can. Oh, I'm sorry, you weren't asking. Uh, no, I wasn't asking you. I'm not actually interested as to whether or not you can do it. Sorry. But in any case, uh, I pick on Mark all the time. Can you tell? But in any case, the Google traditionally ignores the word, or did ignore the word without. Mm -hmm. So now let's play back the query with, uh, with that word missing. Mm -hmm. Can you get a 100% score on Super Mario Walkthrough? Oh. That's a very yeah. different query. Mm -hmm. And so Google returned pages that would give you a walkthrough to help you do it, rather than answering the question, can you do it without a walkthrough? Mm -hmm. And now they include that word without. They understand that, has a, that changes the whole meaning of the sentence. Yeah, and yeah. so they handle that query much better now. And we found a number of examples uh, uh, like that in our results. OK, I'm going to throw in a teaser at this point. I was going to ask you, Eric, you know, what did we find out? Like how many of the queries that we looked at were improved? But you know what? I'm going to ask our folks to go to the URL that's on the screen now or in the description notes for the show and check out your entire study because it's really worth reading. And you really ought to find out how much did you change? What did we find out? You can find out in that study. And in addition, you will see a number of examples of different kinds of language that we believe that Google improved on. I gave this notion of why is, and there's some others like where is and things like that. And there's more of that laid out in the detailed study. Great. Eric, thank you so much for sharing that with us today. And folks, always be sure to join us every Monday for another Here's Why with Mark and Eric.